Part 15. Education. Education is aimed at providing people with images, conclusions, and decision patterns. Most people don't consider murder an option when finding a solution for their personal matters. If their inner taboo isn't so strict, a person can join the army and kill people under the guise of the organization. Now picture yourself a commander-in-chief who risks the lives of millions of people. He comes home and his wife starts irritating him. No wonder Ali Lueva shot herself using Stalin's gun after a family quarrel. Well, modern leaders get a divorce rather than bury their spouses, and that gives hope. There is a different attitude towards robbery. People with modern education consider robbery to be fair if the robber has agreed with the witness. Just like a customs officer who doesn't show any compassion towards the one whose things are taken away. The phrase someone else's belongings remains misunderstood. The freight train is looted by robbers and then the owner is offered to redeem their own freight. The word tax connotes with the concept of duty. The more you work, the larger your debt is. Draw a relationship function chart, mark the impetuses and feedbacks. You'll see that losses caused by negative impetuses often exceed appropriate amounts. And the things taken away often exceed in number things that were left. Parasites consciously or subconsciously worry not about welfare, but about domination. How much does the supposed honesty cost? When registering a property transaction, the law obliges the parties to turn to a notary officer. The witness services cost half a percent of the transaction amount. Try and ask an investigator or judge for such compensation when they ask you to tell the truth. Another example, fake traffic cameras are mounted on Vilnius roads for many years. The device is a fake and the traffic warning sign is a deception. This way, people are informed that if they have a good idea, they are allowed to tell lies. In ancient times, the division of labor was insignificant and a single individual could master all vital trades. Aborigines worked four hours a day to satisfy the necessities of life in their natural environment. If useful knowledge accumulates but life doesn't become easier, it means that the effect of erroneous rules counteract the effect of useful knowledge. What ratio of correct and erroneous rules in society can exist? To keep up the quality of life, an individual has to be guided by the correct rules in their productive activity. They may be mistaken in something they don't influence. Concerning the division of labor, there may be many times more erroneous judgments compared to the correct ones. Rituals which are more harmful than useful are conducted automatically. We may not see which of our judgments are wrong. However, if life becomes harder, it's worth thinking about it. A harder life is when a civilized human being envies an aborigine's way of life after having spent 15 years in educational facilities. If life becomes harder even though the division of labor is so high, we may be using rules that go off the scales of absurdity, meaning that we are all mostly busy with some kind of crap.